I am told by my comrade that one of our young comrades, Robert Amos, has got a poem to recite. Can I ask him please to come in and do that? I have a poem to read here, which is from a book of poems written by young men who gave their lives in the great patriotic war defending the USSR from fascism. Uh, Vadim Konstantinovich Stolchenko. The poem is called Soviet Man. Is this a man I know? We've met before. We've stood together at the tramcar's door and by the loudspeaker out in the street. It may be youth or age his looks attest, in civvies or a soldier's greatcoat dressed. Too rushed for time he is, acquaintances to greet. We wait for the morning paper, he and I. And how's Madrid? Any more raids today? The Chinese? Got to Shanghai yet? Has that Poltava crash started to admit? Oh, he's a family man and literate. He never misses a bit of news, I bet. And everywhere you go, he's there again. He's going to Turkmenia by train. He's flying northward to the polar flows. There, while the sea breaks underneath the ice, he makes tea on a primus, cooks and fries, ready for work, no matter where he goes. And always, everywhere, he feels at home, neath burning sun, in the Arctic freezing night, he does his bit wherever he may roam. Wherever he may be, he kindles light. He works on blueprints, ploughs and sows and reaps. What songs he sings about the far off sea, of caravans of ships, or some of our tea, or planes. He sits on city councils too. He sings in choirs and plays a concert grand. He smiles from photos printed through the land. A stranger, yet he seems well known to you. Married, a bachelor, middling, thin or fat. Born 40, 30, 20 years before, in Minsk, Odessa, Kharkov, Leningrad. Look, there he goes in cities small and big, wearing a labour badge or a lilac sprig upon his breast to meet you always glad. He loves the crowded, teeming, bustling squares, a glass of wine with friends he gaily shares. He's a social fellow, citizen of our land. Whether he looks at me from the printed page or from my mirror, no matter what's his age, I've known him from my youth, this Soviet man. Thank you.